Well, Alicia, I can tell you they are concerned, although some experts say a physical attack like the one in Moore County is less likely than a cyber attack that many power companies across the nation face on a daily basis. But they say there is still something to learn. Two substations down and a lot of people without power in Moore County. Duke Energy says multiple pieces of equipment were damaged. We're one of the most highly regulated industries in the country, and there's a lot of protocols around security that we follow, and uh, we believe you know we follow those in this case. While the work will take a few days to fix, security experts say the motive behind it is always a concern, followed by the type of attack. As far as I know, physical attacks against electric grids are, are quite uncommon, and they really wouldn't be that efficient as an attack strategy for, uh, for instance, a nation. Many cybersecurity experts like Alexandra Puchinski with Rain, a risk intelligent company, say malware is what the nation is looking out for. But even on a micro level, any attack affects customer confidence, both psychologically and the practical implications. On the psychological level, it can cause really widespread fear and panic among the local populace, especially if they don't know what the attack is caused by. We do plan for this. This is part of our protocols, it's part of our planning, and we're working the plan now. That is where security experts say there needs to be concern, because every breach is a way to learn more ways to protect a system from attacks both physically and digitally. I think learning that impact and then developing mitigation plans or also bolstering, you know, redundancy protections around our electric grid so that if an attack like this happens in a larger scale by a more capable actor, we can know how to react following that attack. Yeah, and analysts were not able to give us specific protocols that they're using to protect those grids or what they're reviewing right now for this attack in Moore County. But they also say when it comes to those cyber attacks that happen on a daily basis, they feel that those countries trying to attack the nation's grid won't do so because they want to avoid war. We're live in Mount Holly. Will Lewis, Queen City News.